everyone welcome to the channel in today's video we're diving into building a fun recipe app from scratch using react native i'll walk you through every step of the process so you can create your own app let's get started all right let's get our development environment ready first install visual studio code then make sure you have node.js and npm on your system for mobile development you will also need xcode for ios or android studio for android i'll include all the download links in the description box below now let's create our project open your terminal and run the command you will see here This will create a brand new React Native project for you. It will automatically set up all the necessary files, so just give it a moment to finish. Also, I'll copy this command and drop it in the description box. Once the project is created, let's open it in Visual Studio Code. Next, we're going to um, install React Navigation along with some necessary packages to um, enable seamless screen transition or like smooth transitions between screens. It will take some time to complete the installation, but once finished, it will enable a smooth and interactive navigation. And the other packages will enable uh, or will handle gestures, animations, and ensure our apps works well on both iOS and Android. Now let's get the app running. You can choose either a virtual device on your computer or use a real device connecting via USB. Um, in my case, I'm using an Android emulator to test the app, but feel free to use whichever device works best for you. If you're working, let's say on iOS, you will use the Xcode simulator instead. Now I will open my project recipe app in Android Studio. Here are all my files. Then I will go to device manager, add new device, create virtual device. I have a lot of options. I will, I will choose one. Next. Then I will create it. Once you have the device set up, the app will be ready for testing. In step 4, we will set up our basic folder structure. We will create a screens folder uh, for the screens that we have. Then we will work on the app.js file to handle navigation between them. After creating app.js file, I will start writing my code. I will add const stack to store a create stack navigator function. This will manage the flow between home screen and rest of the screen. Navigation container. This is the rubber that holds our navigator. 
and stack the navigators. This is where we define the screens we want to navigate between. And finally, I will add my two screens. The initial road name uh, means the app will open uh, to the home screen first. At the top of the file, we need to add the necessary imports. This is how we bring in the components and libraries need to make to make it work. my function I will add the folder later Recipe screen. Now I will add my folder screens. Then inside the folder, we add the files. home screen to chess we start by defining the home screen we pass in um, navigation as a prop to give us access to navigation tool export In the return statement, we're using view component as container. Inside it, this um, a text. I just welcome message. Then I will add button with title. Go to recipe list. On press, it will take us to that screen. I will import some basic component view text button finally I will define some basic styles Let's create our recipe list.js file. This will be a simple screen that display a text.
board. Then I will add my text. This is only for now, but uh, in the next video we will add more components. Then import the libraries that we need. Now that we have set up the basic structure, it's time to test it out and see our work in action. But before that, since we want to use JavaScript, not TypeScript, I will go ahead and delete the app.tsx file, which was created by default. And with that done, I will type this command and launch it. Now just wait a bit for the app to compile and build. I'll choose A, run for Android. Will take some time. Okay, so far so good. Seems to be working as expected, and our initial setup is complete. Recipe list and our home screen. That's it for today, we'll continue building the app in part 2, be sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.